Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the carnival. It's Fanargle coming back with another episode of Fallout 4 Ultra Modded Survival. Well, today what we are doing is we are back in the Commonwealth. As I said, we're going to be doing a few different quests. Let's go ahead and mark those up real quick. Here, Kitty Kitty. And Vim and Vigor. Yep. And the one for the water. Now, this is what... What the hell? I'm not hitting. There we go. Fuck! I wasn't hitting. That's the only problem. The, to uh, harvest those, you gotta find like a specific little piece of their body. I really need to remember to use my criticals. Come on, dog, me finish it. Where'd it go? Alright, um That's ace bandage. I was like, I only have the one, but whatever. Well, if anyone could figure out a good It's leather. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hang on, I'm thirsty and hungry, so I'm going to do that real quick. To get my health back. And I also gotta loot these. I just gotta loot these red roaches. For the meat. Just grilled red roach is food, so. AKs, man. Master lock chest. What the hell? Hey, grab that. Good job. Oh, I didn't want that, but whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead do the water. Yeah, there's your problem. The friggin' table! We've sent out crews to fix it! It's a fucking table! Cat's over there. Fuck, I got a disease. God damn it! Insomnia. That's not so bad. Do I have antibiotics? I have two. Okay, whatever, we'll use it. Just gonna use this. Oh, shit! Okay, no, we're not doing that. That's weird, in a bottle... It only has seven rads. But out of the lake it had 50? What the fuck? That's horrible. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. I like cats. That's why I have three of them. And two dogs. Whatever, we're gonna make some more water. That's horrible. 
I got all that fucking radiation back. Shit. Whatever. We'll just... We'll go in there to the doctors and have them cure it. Again, there's only a bug around here. Yep, there it is. Fucking bugs. I forget which one was the one that was really bad. The rad scorpion, right? Yeah. Because they exploded. And they had like all kinds of fucking rad. Like these do too, but... I, it's negligible next to... Oh, it was the poison, yeah. Red Scorpion exploded and it was like... Uh, the poison almost freaking killed me. He So he did die. Blood bug meat's actually awesome. I don't know how it's going to be in this playthrough, but in normal blood bug meat, it uh, restores health. Like crazy amounts of health. I don't know if the, there's a blood bug recipe or not. I figure rads wise, I mean, whatever. We'll just we'll get the rads and then I'll get them cured when I go into the vault because the doctor can down there can do it. And then I'll just drink water to restore my health. Yeah, because I've already got damn radiation poisoning again. Can I cook anything? Boiled water. Sure. Ooh, health tea. So there's a whole bunch of different... Oh, wow, there's... I need lead belly for stuff. Holy shit. That's cool. Grilled red roach. What we got down here? Mac and mole is always good. Squirrel quiche. Hm. Yeah, I don't see that recipe, which means it's probably locked behind a wall. But yeah, I'll just... I'll save that health tea, though, because since I'll be in the vault, I can just hit their water fountains. Since it's purified water. I think it restores health. I can't remember. The easiest way to find out would just be to drink from the fountain. Downstairs. We keep the vaults safe. You're that common trap, aren't you? No, I, I, I'm Charlie Murphy. Come on! How many people do you have running around with an army helmet, armor, and a goddamn pig gas mask? I want a flashlight from the Alien franchise. You serious? Stupid assholes. What? God damn it, Pfeiffer. We really gotta get you some armor. Let's go fight some raiders or something. Yes? Yes. Yeah, it does restore health. It's not a lot, but it restores health. Huh? Hello again. Here to talk about our water problems? Yeah, it's taking You should have plenty of clean water now. Was that you who cleared the water intake? I noticed the pressure's back to normal. I'm glad someone was able to do something. The water may still have a strange taste, but at least now we won't run out of it. Here, take this. I'm sure Mansfield's already paying you, but I want to give you a personal thank you. Sweet. 94 bottle caps. It's weird she's got a little bathroom there. She's looking pretty bad in there. Not that. Hey, hey. I might need a break. Hey, Calvin. Sorry, new gal. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick. I promise. <laughs> we'll see about that. What can I do you for? You guys have been living here over 200 years. This place is bound to be in decline. In decline? You must be one of those politically correct types. Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. 
Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure. You got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. How much Sorry I can't talk longer, tools? stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way. I was like, I, I know it's like anything like this. Wrench, screwdrivers, um, hammers. Where? Where's shopkeep? Seeds. I need more seeds. And you want seeds? Dr. Forsyth has asked me to see you. This Dr. Pensky. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my instruments. Where could it be? Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. Those seedlings are almost ready for transplant. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Oh, well, they are fresh food. Maybe I can cook something with it. And there's no rads. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. They have. It's called raiders. They're always trying to shoot you. Wow. You're from one of the other At least Hey sweetie. Survived. Ashes! You found him! Yes. Thanks, ma'am! I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes. She gave me a fusion core? Are you serious? Holy shit! you need something, ask Alexis. I can't make heads or tails of it. She must be at lunchtime. No, it's night. Okay. I didn't even realize it was night. All right, let's go talk to these. Other guy. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to the doctor. Get about clear, clear my rags. Like your pit boy? And it is going to, unfortunately, um, start the vault quest. Welcome. Oh no, not yet. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just the blood sample? Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Can you fix my radiation? So I really don't want to have to use a rat away if I don't this have to. Take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth? for medical treatment talk to Rachel she'd be happy to help you with anything you need okay you're that wanderer from the trade wait will you buy this <gasps> she will anything good oh <gasps> she's sterile bandages patch me up doc what's feeling off today radiation I think I soaked up some rads out there. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. Stupid bugs. All done. Any other complaints? No. No. But I am going to use a clean bandage. Where the... F Oh, sterile, sterile. That's right, because there's two different types of bandages. There's clean and there's sterile. Sterile bandages don't do... They just give you health regen. A small amount. For a long time, apparently. And it gives you five health back. So you'll get this health back, but then it gives you a lot of health regen for like three and a half minutes. Hey, outsider. Do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Alright. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. 
And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Abby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Random, but okay. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. Zunga. I don't know what you're bitching about. You've got a freaking Remington with a nice Tricon ACOG. Take your happy ass in the Commonwealth and just maintain structural distance and you'll be fine. Just take your shots from a distance, learn to shoot a little bit better, and you ain't got nothing to worry about. Seriously. And it's like, it could be worse. You could be using a stick with a can of beans on it. Which is funny because this is a weapon from Mad Max, the video game. You can tell because the symbol on the side. You may wear a vault suit, it's literally the symbol of Scrotus. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. I've been hearing good things about you. Old Rusty is running at peak efficiency, and the vault's water problems have been solved. Can I have the vigor tester now? Such confidence from a wastelander. I must say, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm glad I was able to help. And helped you have. Now that you've demonstrated your ability to get a job done, I feel I can entrust you with something more important. If you complete this last task, I'll be happy to reward you with a Vitamatic. Okay. Just tell me what you need done. Ever since we opened the vault, our safety has been of chief concern. Oh, that's right. I remember this you quest. We send out security patrols. But recently, one such patrol has yet to report in. She's not yet overdue, but still, I'm concerned. A mercenary crew resides in the area she was sent to scout, and they've caused trouble for us before. What I'd ask is that you find our wayward patrol and bring her safely back to the vault. Do you know where I can find her? Yes. Her patrol route was between here and Forest Grove Marsh, so she's most likely still there. I'm but just curious. I want to see something. Yep. It's the depth of field from the e &B. Well, what else? Let's get rid of it. Who cares? <laughs> Penny will give me a few extra frames. With the mercenaries recently claiming that area, she may be in trouble. Hopefully I'm just worrying over nothing. But if you decide to do this, I'd advise caution. Don't worry. I'll find her. No, good. Once you've found our missing patrol, Report back to me, and the Vitamatic is yours. Good luck. Okay. I just want the Vitamatic. I already talked to Calvin. He wants tools. I mean, I know where I can find a ton of tools. Um, what is it? Hardware Town, Robco, basically any place where there's machinery, maybe even the brewery. I should sleep till morning. Got my health back at least. Food, huh? Okay. Um. Still hungry. Properly fed. Oh, from the food. I was like, what? Radiation? Get the fuck out of here. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie. Pff, 
fucking zombies. Free for the taking. That's good armor. A lot better than a Vault 111 jumpsuit. I was like, I mean, since I'm using armor keywords, I can actually wear that armor plus armor pieces. And so the guns are mainly used for either an opening shot or zombies. Because I've discovered that getting the, like, fighting feral ghouls is one thing, but fighting zombies? It's a different story. But they straight up will swarm your ass. You do not want to let them get close. Be friendly or foe? You're friendly and you got an antibiotic. You know what? That's good, because I'm going to get rid of some of this shit. You didn't even have my vault jumpsuit. What the fuck? Somebody was screaming in pain. I mutated ferns over here, but I said we're not doing that just yet. This is the lock. Yeah, that's right. This is the lock. It's a very cool, but yet unused asset in the base. Oh, you've got to be shitting me! That's not cool. Ow! Get the right weapon out, you fuck! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we gotta load back to the bed. Yeah, see, that's the problem with melee characters and, you know, fighting anything that's other than a frickin' rad roach at level 11. Like, if I had a semi-competent follower, then it wouldn't have been an issue. Like, humans, it's one thing. Like, I can get up on them, I can whack them a few times, and I'd be good. Uh-huh. I gotta get used to this new, new pad, though. That's what threw me off. I mean, admitting that I should have just used my 45. I know it doesn't do a lot of damage, but... I would have done enough. It's a zombie. Relax. Free for the take. Uh-huh. Getting all brave and shit, and like, oh, we're gonna talk all this shit. It's a zombie, there, Piper. You can calm your ass down. I'll never say no to food or drink. Gotta completely walk right past this thing the first time. I know what's in here. Got it. It's fucking useless to me, but whatever. That's not what I wanted. It takes so long to get off the bench. Oh, it must have fallen through because it's normally on the chemistry station. There's a syringe in here. Whatever. We're good. Like I said, I'm probably gonna have to use this on the bear. Because my melee weapon wasn't doing any fucking damage at all. Zombies. 
zombies. I don't know. Who are you talking shit to? Seriously, Piper. It's zombies. I don't. Is he here or is it just a random spawn? Yep, he's here. Yeah, see, the weapon didn't even do shit for damage, but still. I'm a little safer. I'm gonna burn out all my ammo doing with this shit. Piper, where the fuck are you? Why are you- what the hell- Going on? Dumb bitch! You're useless! What, a way. what are you shooting? Oh, the zombie. Oh, the bear killed him. Okay, dog meat, you get that one. Or not. Where the hell are you? This is normal for other journalists. Shut up. Hey, just let me know. You are stupid. You are straight up stupid. No, you don't have any five fives. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying a lot of meat. I'll give her those. Got you some armor. Hey. Where to? Down here. Sharpshooter T. That's not bad. <laughs> Tomahawk. Or potatoes, huh? It's like you need oil for just about everything, which I mean makes sense because in order to cook stuff you need oil. Here's the jangles. It's just, oh my god. Piper! Hey. Come here. here. Piper. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I didn't realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Okay, I'm encumbered right now? Do real good. Playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days sounds like it must be exhausting huh, no yes kidding. I'm taking damage but Piper people, they deserve to know the truth sure it can be scary knowing what's really out there the night doesn't go by I'm not afraid some institute drop because I know the truth couldn't agree more all right I don't normally exactly fast forward through these but I have to now our dad well uh well I didn't buy it. he was gonna leave the right my dad I tried talk Mayor sure You saved those people. No. But hey, uh -huh. it's just nice to talk to someone. Yes, I know. I just hit hey, your first tier of friendship. Woo, watch out. Crazy bitch. Um 
We'll keep that one. Okay. Equip that. Equip that. What you got for me? Armors. I don't even know what dog meat went and killed. He went and killed something. Hold on, I gotta get more healing going. Um, just use the bandage. Eat the sweet roll and use a bandage. God, that sweet roll had a ton of radiation. Do I have any purified water? No, but I can drink a Nuka Cola. Wait, do they not give you? I thought they did. Wow, I'm parched? Holy shit, okay. Um. Cool, oh, okay, so what? It, so they do hydrate you. I was just extremely dehydrated. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One of those dudes has got a skull. She's using the AK. Of course she's using the AK. Holy crap, that sharpshooter 2 is insane. Where'd they go? That was the guy with the skull. I got you a chess piece and a better hat. There's your sister, she's dead. Watch out. Oh. Hey. Come here. Let me get you some stuff. Heads up. Put that on. Put that on, put that on. And put that on. I can make her look like a gunner. <laughs> Why not? Let's make her look like a gunner. There you go, now you're a gunner. You look cool. Are you ready for a fight? I mean, tools are good. Tools are good. Actually, can I? Oh, I can't do anything to it. So my vault suit is better. Are you serious? Heads up. It's like, does my vault suit give me... Yeah, it gives me weight capacity. It's better than this. And I got a weave on it. I'm stupid. I'm straight stupid. Cause it's like, once I get that, I can put deep pocketed on this bitch. Fuck that skate cage armor then. I'll wear this shit. Alright. Uh, I think we're done with that. Yep, go back to Mansfield. We get to do this and then get to Vigor Tester and then next episode we get to go turn it into Jake. Yeah, I might start doing some mod review videos because it looks like people seem to like those. Uh, if you're interested in that, just let me know in the comments. You know, say, hey, throw, start throwing some out. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to review the mods that I use and maybe new stuff that I'd be interested in, you know. Because the, out of all the videos I've created over the last year, the one that's done the best, most successful is my deep dive into Horizon. And is that's just a video of me explaining all the intricacies, and it's a super long video, so I understand why people won't watch the whole thing. But it's explaining all the intricacies of Horizon, or at least all that I've discovered. And I mean, Horizon is such a big mod, I and mean, you can do an entire playthrough of Fallout. And, you know, still experience stuff you've never experienced before, so... Don't go feeling all special because the Overseer lets you in here. You weren't the first. help but notice there's not a certain someone with you. She did. What happened to the patrol? They're dead. I'm sorry. You're serious, aren't you? No, I'm fucking joking. She failed to report in. 
I knew something was wrong, but... I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. No, it's not your fault. At least now we know what happened. Despite the circumstances, you did as much as you could. I and the rest of the vault are grateful for your assistance. The Vitamatic is yours. You'll find it in the vault's clinic. Dr. Forsyth has been informed you have permission to take it. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I need to update the vault's records. The fuck called me? Katie Finn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. I already did. That's gotta be bandage, right? No, it's caffeine in the sharpshooter. That sharpshooter T plus caffeine equals like ridiculous AP regen. We just need more purified water, which I have plenty of at Sanctuary. And I'm gonna start getting even more now here pretty soon. Oh yeah, I got a couple of tools. Let's see how much they're worth. Hey there, got some tools for me today? Yep, here you go. Perfect. Keep an eye out. We can always use more. 15 caps a piece. So he took the adjustable wrenches. But I think I have regular wrench in here. No, I don't. You should see Dr. Forsyth. I heard he has a job. Yeah, he does. You have to do something, Jake. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find some. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Get it, dog. Who me. knows what kind of diseases they are carrying? Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsyth, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that? Oh, it was VA. <laughs> VA called me. They're like, hey, you have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I'm like, no so shit. They've called me like nine nice times to remind me. Using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret fault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. My junkie guy, yeah. Can you guys stop talking, talking so I can get the vigor tester, please? How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Sure. I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Nope. Be quick and find that cure. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth. Without that cure, Austin will certainly die. Why can't I loot this thing? I can sit in the chair. Maybe. No. Wait, it's not going to let me take the bigger tester until I complete the other side of the vault? I knew it. Careful of the mole rats down there. They infected Austin. They could infect... Hello, Rachel. In need of medical assistance? No. God damn it. Finally. Okay, it was just a weird interaction. So I don't want to do the vault quest right now. Oh, Jesus Christ, she actually dropped it. Uh-oh. Let's see how good of a doctor you really are. No, not that. There we go.
He actually is a pretty good doctor. Brought you, kid. Jesus Christ! The kid has an 11 intelligence. He's a savant! Well, there you go. That's how the bigger tester works. You point and shoot. It actually does one point of damage, which I find hilarious. Like, let's see Bobby. Bobby's just nothing. Taking someone. But yeah, that's the bigger tester. So there you go. We got the bigger tester, which means next episode we get to return to Jake. Upon returning to Jake, we'll actually start to get the new plots, which is really cool because it unlocks a lot more content in settlements. And then we'll go from there. So once again, thank you guys all so very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe. I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.